Hi everybody, I'll make this very brief. I have been a WikiLeaks supporter pretty much since the beginning. People often forget that this started in 2006 when Julian was based in Melbourne back in the day and had a belief in this then very radical idea of transparent journalism, which back then weirdly was not that common, namely to show what you're actually reporting on, to show the documents, to reveal the documents to people who needed to see it, namely the public. So one of the things that really strikes me at WikiLeaks is that as someone who has used WikiLeaks documents, reported on WikiLeaks documents and supported Assange pretty much since the beginning. What's remarkable to me, and Wendy Bacon mentioned this before, how many journalists don't support WikiLeaks and to ask ourselves why that is. To me the explanation is pretty simple. Two reasons. One, jealousy, frankly. And two, most journalists actually, despite what they say, see their role as being close to power, not questioning it. That's their role. Whether they are Murdoch Press, ABC, obviously I'm not saying everyone is the same, they're not. But that essentially to me is the heart of why so many in the press do not support Assange. At a time where his health and mental well-being clearly is in distress, where clearly he needs to be brought home now by this Prime Minister, by this government. Now so far, frankly, the Australian government's response since the election in May has been better than the last one, but what is actually being done behind the scenes to bring Assange home now? As I think David Shoebridge said before, when Albanese says we have to resolve this, enough is enough, what does that mean? Does that mean that it's resolved, so to speak, by him going to the US for a sham trial? It has to mean coming back to Australia now. It's the only viable, humane, legal outcome. And let me finish on this point. If Julian Assange is prosecuted and jailed in America, that puts every single journalist in the world in peril. Every single one, because it says the US, and therefore Australia, and he, because he's an Australian citizen, it means that every single journalist in the world that may upset the US can therefore, because there'll be a precedent, be sent to the US for trial. That's what this case is about. And to me, as a journalist, as a filmmaker, as an author, there is very few, if not no other international cases around press freedom more important than this one. Because it signifies so much about what democracy should be about. On that point, thank you for asking me to speak.